<laughs> Hello everyone, this is Kat, or I am Kat, and my husband is filming and he's playing pranks on me, telling me he's filming when he's not, so I get confused. Anyway, this is my day, a day in the life of a potter that thinks the way I do. Chaos. That's what happens. I've got things that I'm painting. There are reasons why I dip and pour instead of brush on usually. I've got a few brush on glazes. Okay, so I wanted to tell what I did because I'm gonna forget. So on this one, I put Amico. Amico, where are you? Anyway, see I've already lost it. What's up? Um, tea dust, Amico tea dust. I did three coats of Amico tea dust. Then I did fuchsia, two, coyote fuchsia, two just around the rim. Then I did um, Mako. Let's see, where are you, Mako? Oh, here's Cosmic Tea Dust. Cosmic Tea Dust. I did... Not Mako. Oh, here we go. See, this is where I, how I think. We've got um, Night Moth. I did two coats of Night Moth on top of that. And then I did one more coat of Cosmic Tea Dust in the middle. And then just Tea Dust on the bottom. This one has three coats of Celadon Bloom. And one coat of blue hydrangea. These are, obviously, they have bumps and stuff, and they're supposed to. They're going to bloom out. This one, I went, this is my um, French toast sucker. It has a little mushroom. I used stroke and coat different colors on it. Um, I did a yellow, a coyote yellow, and then white glaze on the rim. It's going to be obscenely bright, I hope. Then these others are just combinations of Celadon Bloom night moth and um blue hydrangea anyway as i'm getting ready to do this we have had threats of rain which we need so bad for the past several weeks i've had these things sitting around did i glaze them then no because i don't like leaving them glazed for a long long time before i try to fire them because of cats scratching up glaze and stuff but anyway in all this time what have i not had that i could have made compacts because I leave it to the last minute to make my compacts. So I use cones four. Yeah, these are cones. These are cone fours. I need cone four, five, six, and seven because I want to make sure. And people want to know how to get these apart without breaking them. You do that. You twist and it pops off. Do they break? Sometimes the tips break off, but everybody's always breaking them off here, trying to figure out how to do it. It's pretty simple. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make four pack. And see, this is where it did not work, and that one is defective now. I can't use it. Total trash. I'm running low. And see, I did drop this one, broke it in half. Can't use it either, so now I need more boxes of cones. Twist and break. Simple, simple. If you want to put it on a sharp edge, you can do that too. Okay, so that is five. I've got four or five. Is there a reason for this? He's gone crazy. Y'all save me. Snap and break. Just showing your work there. Yeah, I didn't even do that. <laughs> that's store bought. Can't we paint it and do it? Fire it? No, that's cement. Oh. That would blow up the kiln. So, look like pottery. <laughs> He's got cracks on his. So, I'm just snapping them apart. Okay, so point one, 
How do I snap them apart? That's how you snap them apart. Point two. How do I make a compact? Because dumb me is wanting to fire up a kiln without having any compacts ready. So I'm just taking a lump of clay. I'm gonna put this in my oven to try to make them dry quicker. Because once again, they're saying we're gonna have rain and I don't believe them anymore. I think they're lying to me. Just so that I don't fire my kiln. I think that's what's going on. Somebody's got it in for me. So now I've just made this long. How long? Yeah. About five inches. I'm gonna start with my cone four. Make sure you put it at the angle that you need to put it at. I always put it all the way down to the ground, the bottom. And this is where you can break them too, because I've done it. And then just make sure that you have it at the, the angle that the cone is going at. So here is cone five. Well, that's a little off. All right, there we go, cone five. If I push it all the way down, it goes to the place it's supposed to be at. You can see that they're at the same angle. Cone six. I'm just verifying that I'm getting the right one in the right spot. Otherwise, I'll think I've done good and I've really done terrible with my heat work. And one more. Okay, one cone pack made. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and make more of my cone packs. I'm gonna dry them up and put them in the oven. Later on, we're going to, <laughs> later on, we're going to um, see me maybe spray glazing unless the rain comes. And then you will see me load up the kiln, get it started, and also then, I'll show you the depths of my pottery world. You think this is bad. These are, this is nothing. I have to organize my chemicals for my glazes. It's a mess. You have to stick around for that just to see what in the world I have because I'm not even sure what I have anymore. All right, see you in a few. So what am I baking? It isn't supper. Warming up the cone packs, trying to get them dry. Yep. That's how I roll. We'll come back and see you later. Bye. Okay, so here's the garage. Has my woodworking tools, my little nine inch bandsaw. I have a video on that. My drill press, file cabinets. Got all these woodworking things. Got my masks and things set up. I was fixing a I was going to go spray glaze, but it's getting too late. I've got a little sewing machine I need to fix. Not the machine itself, but the I've got my lathe. Okay, so over in that corner is where all my glazes were and my some of my chemicals. And I've got them spread out here so I can kind of see what I've got. My spinning wheels. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, over in there is a loom that I'll never probably get to use because that thing is massive and it was given to me. Anyway, um, chemicals over here. Chemicals are everywhere. I'm just glad I'm not, haven't been raided or something. Um, so yeah, chemicals there. That is plaster to make. Um, I've got a bucket in there somewhere to put the plaster in with the other plaster. Um, anyway, making you dizzy now. I've got things like Nepheline cyanide. I'm not pronouncing it correctly. I'm sorry, I'm too East Texan. And I haven't heard people pronounce it enough times to really, well, I'm just guessing from what I've read. I've got some EPK. 
Gersley Borate, my glazes. This is some chun that I made from Amazing Glaze. This is spearmint from the first Amazing Glaze. That stuff runs like a son of a gun. Um, this is my clear. I need to make more of it. That's the Odyssey Clear and Amazing Glaze. I've got, yeah, anyway, floating blue. Then just some more chemicals. I've got licorice. There's licorice. I've got um, a purple. I've got Al's Bay, Seltzer Chun, which, or Seltzer Tamuco. Unfortunately, it cracks on my, on the clay that I use. But I'm going to try it on Buffalo Wallow and see if it works on it. Because, just because it doesn't work on one doesn't mean it's not going to work on the other. Anyway, um, yeah, this is my incredibly used up garage that's not being used for what it's supposed to be used for. It's just got all my stuff. All my stuff. I'm going to go through all those chemicals and all of these and all of this and just look and see where I stand. And then in the corner, we've got our Christmas stuff. It was better organized than this and I've just been tearing it apart, but my Santa Claus that I made is laying over there in the corner. May you rest in peace for right now. Anyway, okay. <sighs> Gotta get to work on it. Ready? All right. So now I'm frantically underglazing one of my planters. I've got two more to go. I don't know that two more will fit in there. But I'm going to go back. I'm going to paint all these flowers different colors. Pop a little yellow in them. Finish out my little mushrooms. Um, and then get my snail down here. Okay, so now we've made the... We've made the compacts. Now I'm underglazing. Will the rain hold off long enough for me to spray clear over the top of these? Who knows? Probably. All right. Catch you again in a few. So, of course, whenever I decided to do all of that, the rains finally decided, decided to start. And I got behind about a week on getting my firing done, but you can see the results of that firing right now and if you want to see the video of the kiln opening you can look at the last week's video that came out there's my french toast soaker i think the colors really came out pretty still waiting to organize the garage though anyway thank you everybody have a wonderful day bye